Hello, my name is Tracy K. Wood. I am the owner at Sassy Coons Maine Coon Cattery. I wanted to do this video today to first introduce myself to you and uh, let you get to know me a little bit more. I know that's important to a lot of people who are shopping for their new kitten uh, to know who's actually raising their babies. Um, and then, you know, get to the main point of the video, which is something that is super important and near and dear to my heart and this breed of cat. So my first career is a real estate investor. My husband and I started buying and selling houses in 1998, and we have done so as partners ever since then. Um, so for 20 plus years, we've been flipping houses. Um, in 2010, I felt compelled to start an educational blog about the real estate business and help other people who were also learning how to do the business, um, give them a resource to go to, to find out information that they needed to be able to, you know, better themselves or just, you know, get information that wasn't out there or wasn't ready available somewhere else. That was a huge success. And that blog is still, you know, active to this day. And I also have a personal coaching program where I teach people how to buy and sell houses. I have found that, you know, in doing that, that educating the public and educating people on topics is what I love to do because there's just, there's so much information everywhere that not everyone knows where to go to and where to get a reliable source and who is a credible source. So I am what I call myself a deep diver. And although I've only been in the Maine Coon breeding space for over, just over a year, I'm on my second year now, I am a deep diver. So I go deep into everything that I do and really look for answers and find details. And I just want as much information as I can get. I'll stay up all night and I'll stay up for two days if I have to, to get, you know, what I feel like is accurate information. And while I certainly don't know everything, um, I do in the last year and a half, I have um, compiled a lot of information about this breed of cat, um, you know, cats in general, health of cats. Um, there's so much to learn uh, that it's, it's, it's fantastic and I love it. It's what I love to do. So, you know, now I feel like um, with my blog, I have a Sassy Coons blog. That was the natural next step for me is to create the blog and start providing information to um, not only pet owners who are interested in this amazing breed of cat, but also maybe to breeders who are new and, you know, are looking for the same information that I was at some point or that I will be in the future. And as I get new information, I'm gonna put it on the blog. And you can believe that if it's on my sassycoons.com blog, that I have researched it and researched it and I have dove deep into the topic and this is the information that I have found to be true and accurate. And one thing I'm also um, known for, especially in the real estate space, is being transparent. So, you know, everything is not fun in anything that you do. There's pros and cons to everything, including breeding Maine Coon kittens. You know, it's not all, it's not all pretty and cute. I mean, the kittens are by all means, but uh, there's, you definitely run into a lot of things that are unexpected. And um, I, I will talk about those on my blog as well. So that people, especially if you're looking into breeding Maine Coons, which is, you know, kind of a hot topic, um, you can see that, you know, maybe you should know about this before you get into it. And um, I welcome any new breeders who are interested in doing this because it is, is quite rewarding. And, you know, I have a passion for it, which is why it's fun for me, even with the little quirks that come up. So with that being said, my topic of today's video is breed standard. A pedigree cat is, is one that has been bred for a certain uh, physical characteristic and even behavioral characteristic. So we all know that Siamese cats are loud in nature and very active and vocal, and that's part of their breed. 
and you know not only behaviorally but they also have a physical characteristic that's very identifiable you know a Siamese when you see one you can't deny what a Siamese cat or kitten looks like and that goes across the board with all pedigree cats they have a very specific standard of behavioral characteristics and physical characteristics and as a breeder of the cat I think it is my job to ensure that those breed standards get passed down onto the kittens. And the best way to do that is by selecting the best parents that I possibly can to be in the breeding program that have the breed standard that fit the description of what the International Cat Associations say a Maine Coon should look like and behave like. So I'm focusing today on the head and um, I have in front of me the breed standard um, as written by TICA, the International Cat Association, and that is where my cattery is registered as well as all of my kittens are registered through TICA. So I focus on um, their breed standard because I will sh I show my cats in the TICA shows. So I try to match their breed standard. I want to read to you the breed standard of the Maine Coon head. So we're just talking about the Maine Coon head today, okay? Um, now in the cat show, the head accounts for the most points. So the cats are judged based on, um, you know, how many points that they get for their physical characteristics. And we're focusing again today in this video on the head of the Maine Coon. And it's worth 40 points. And why am I talking about the cat shows and the breed standard? Because that's what determines a champion cat. Uh, you know, a cat that is a good example or a very close to perfect example of what a Maine Coon should look like based on the breed standard that was developed many, many years ago. So this is what, when I choose my breeding cats, I, I, I'm always referring to this breed standard guide and checking off, you know, the physical characteristics and trying to match this as closely as possible. Now, there is no perfect cat. I think we have, um, as breeders, we've all determined there's no perfect cat. There's, you know, little, little flaws here and little nuances here. So uh, my goal is always to get to as close to breed standard as possible so that I can maintain the integrity of this beautiful cat at, for generations. And, you know, if I omit one of these standards, and my breeding cats, then guess what? That's gonna get passed down to the kittens. And now what people visualize as a beautiful, majestic Maine Coon cat, maybe if I don't care about breed standard, then the kittens will eventually just evolve and not look like Maine Coons anymore because they're losing the standard because the breeders aren't maintaining the integrity of this animal. So let's talk about the head. So the head accounts for 40 points. Uh, the shape of the head is eight points. The eyes are five points. The ears are 10 points. The muzzle and chin are 10 points and the profile is seven. So what's weighing the most here? Ears, muzzle, and chin. All right, so I'm gonna read the description of the head breed standard for the Maine Coon. So the shape of the head should be broad, modified wedge. Size should be in proportion to the cat's body. Slightly longer than it is wide. Distinct muzzle break can be seen under high prominent cheekbones. So we're looking at cheekbones here. That's the shape of the head worth eight points. Eyes, large, slightly oval, appear round when wide open. The outer corner of the eye points toward outer base of the ear. Wide set. The color of the eye should be any shade of green and or gold, copper. The eye is not in relation to the coat color. Blue and odd-eyed cats are only accepted in white cats and bicolor cats. The eyes account for five points. Ears should be large, wide at the base, with the outer base set just slightly farther back than the inner base. So 
anything. They're details. I love details. The outer base just above the level of the top of the eye. Outside edges have a very slight outward tilt that is not past 11 and 1 o'clock. Set fairly high on the head with the inner edge of bases no more than one ear width apart. The ears are taller than the width at the base, but still in balance with the head length. Moderately pointed ears appear taller due to lynx tips. So the Maine Coons should have lynx tips on the tips of their ears. The furnishings, which are the hairs that come out of the inside of their ears, extend beyond the outer edge of the ear. So they have little hairs that pop out of their um, inside of their ears. It should be longer than the outside of their ear. Ears account for 10 points, so very important part of the Maine Coon breed standard are those beautiful tall ears with the gorgeous lynx tips on top. I love those. The chin and muzzle, 10 points, wide and deep enough to complete the square look of the muzzle. So it should be square, the, the, the chin. Should be firm and in line with the upper lip. So when you turn the cat to the side, this is one of my OCD points, the chin should be in line with the upper lip. So if you look at the cat from the side, his chin and nose should be in one straight line. It should not be nose, lip, and then an undershot chin. That's a penalty and it's losing the integrity of the cat. The muzzle should be square. At the cat shows, they actually feel the bone structure of the cat to make sure that his muzzle is square. Now this is one, uh, the profile, I'm super OCD about this too. The muzzle, chin, and profile, oh my goodness, it keeps me up at night. The profile, they have a gently curving forehead. It's gently concave curve at the bridge of the nose flowing into a smooth nose line. So there should not be any bumps on the cat's nose. So in video number two, that's gonna be part of the series of the Maine Coon Breed Standard done by Sassy Coons, we're gonna take a look at the cats that are part of Sassy Coons Maine Coon Cattery. I'm gonna show you their heads, their profiles, their ears, their lynx tips, their ear furnishings, their chin, their eyes, their cheekbones. We're gonna look in detail at the cats that are used in my breeding program and compare it to the breed standard guideline checklist as written by Tika many, many years ago. And you know, if you're into details and fine details like I am, then you'll absolutely enjoy the video 100%. You'll be completely enthralled by um, the things that maybe you've never noticed before. So when we put these cats together in a um, mating situation, um, if one is lacking in one of these fine characteristics, then hopefully the other one makes up for it and has a strength in that area. So I hope to see you on the next video in the series, video number two. I'll be publishing that soon, so be on the lookout for it. Subscribe to my blog if you haven't already to make sure you don't miss it. All right, I'm Tracy K. Wood with Sassy Coons, Maine Coon Cattery, and I'll see you next time.